Edna Wilson with Celebrate Real Estate. You know, in this type of market, we constantly have sellers who go, you know what, I think I can get X number of dollars from my property. And probably last spring, they were probably correct because there was just no inventory. But inventory is beginning to loosen up a little bit, which makes prices, I say a little bit more reasonable. It still feels a little weird because the price adjustment has been so dramatic. But let me tell you a story about a customer I had who just, well, honestly, they were just greedy. I know, I'm sorry, but they just were. And they priced their house 50,000 over what I really felt like the market could bear. It happens, but they underestimated the smartness of a buyer. Is that a good word, smartness? I'm not sure that's a good word, but the savviness of a buyer, because the buyer's gonna go on to Zillow and see this estimate. They're gonna go on to Realtor, they're gonna go on to Trulia, and they're gonna look at these sites and all those sites do the estimates, right? To let them know, hey, this house probably would list around 197. This house would probably, you know, so that's all there, right? Buyers are looking at that. So if your house is on Zestimate at 197 and you list it for 250, that might be bad, right? Because a buyer's not gonna be interested. But here's what happens. I mean, I'm all about trying to get you the best and the highest price, but here's what happens. So no one comes and sees the house. So we go on market and we're 50,000 over asking and no one sees the house, right? They just don't come which is crazy. And then what happens is it has those days on the market. And by the way, even if you switch realtors, days on the market don't go away. It stays with the listing no matter what you do. So the days on the market continue to tick up and then people start thinking, well, there must be something wrong with that house because it's been on the market for 40 days and everything else has been on the market four days. So what's wrong with that house? It was just a pricing issue, but you gotta be so careful to really do your research and not overprice your house. It's very tempting but it's gonna hurt you in the long run. And you might end up with one of those um, stigmatized properties that can't be sold because we just didn't price it right in the beginning. So that's a great conversation to have with your real estate agent is how should I price this house? And then look at Zillow and look at Redfin and all those different sites to see what they're pricing the house at. And not that they're always correct because they're not buyers. Those are not always correct, but buyers do look at that. And that's the scoop. Thank you.